Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. In my last video, I had given about the marriage, destiny, destined spouse. Now today, I think we can move to childbirth <clears throat> to know exactly when the childbirth takes place after the marriage. Right now today I have got a chart. I will bring out one more couple's chart. This is one couple, a female chart and a male chart. How to know the year of birth of a child or after how many years of their marital life will they get a child? Even this is also a destiny part. It is not according to what we plan. So many people think that they will plan for a future after four years, after five years. It does not happen like that. It happens according to the destiny only. Even if you are part of planning is a program there, even that will be denoted here. You can see that also here. So, a child at what after how many years of marital life a child is going to take birth, we are going to go through that in according to Nadi astrology. Okay? It may be a little bit of confusious subject to a few. One thing I would like to tell you all, whenever I release a video, as soon as you see a video, people will come to one conclusion. So many people have commented that this is very confusing and uh, you have to remove this video. Yes, it is very confusing for you. Not all the 17,000 subscribers. Okay. Among that at least I will be watching how many likes I will get. No? So don't get confused. Maybe you would not have perceived in the same manner what I have thought. Or how I have presented. There is a difference, wide difference between understanding, perceiving or if you can work out on charts and you may get the truth out of it. I don't know. But as far as my knowledge goes, to the extent what I have been trying in this method, I am finding it successful. And this is a simplified mode. So I thought it would help you all. Okay? And I hope my people, my students, or my channel viewers, or the viewers, 70,000 viewers are there who are there on my channel will definitely like it. Okay? I'm sure. Now, let's go ahead with the subject. What did I say here? Childbirth. Childbirth after the how, within how many numbers of number of years the childbirth will take place for a couple when the childbirth is denoted for a couple this is what we are going to do in these two charts this is a female wife's chart this is the male husband's chart okay in these two cases it will come to the same point the year of birth of a child not only the first child even the second child, you can know. Now this chart, the couple, this couple's charts are a simplified mode, easy for understanding. I will also give you one more couple's chart where there is a little bit of difficulties to trace out. Why the difficulties come? Where it is going to miss that year? What are the reasons for missing that year of childbirth? That I will tell you then. Now let us go for a simplified one in the beginning just to understand the path of the subject or the track of the subject. Clear? Yeah. Now, whenever childbirth or questions on childbirth comes, first thing is the marital life. The beginning for a childbirth definitely it must be the beginning, marital life. That means we have to have two charts, a male chart and a female chart. And 
both the charts will indicate the child birth in the same year it will not give two different indications fine okay. usually for knowing about the marital life in case of a male we used to see venus venus is the wife part of it and whatever happens to this gentleman after the entry of the wife is written here likewise female chart female chart mars is the husband after the entry of mars into this lady's life it shows her what all is going to happen this is how it goes fine now <clears throat> i told you a female chart mars is the husband for your easy reference i have put the marriage date as 1991 this only reference when you calculate when you try to analyze different horoscopes you can concentrate on that now i am telling you not the year of birth i am telling you number of years after the marriage year it takes to get you the first child after that how many years it takes to get the second child this is what i am going to teach you today it is not about the exact year it is about the number of years after the marital life clear yeah now in this female case <clears throat> as i told you earlier mars is the husband so one point is we concentrate on mars second thing fifth house lord fifth house lord is the child whoever it may be it may be saturn it may be sun it may be moon it may be anybody from jupiter the fifth house lord is needed so this is jupiter the fifth house lord is leo this is the fifth house lord clear here mars entered over marriage took place and this we call it as 1999 because it happened in 1999 fine then jupiter's fifth house lord where is he he is in the second house from mars i'll repeat it once again please try to concentrate jupiter's fifth house lord is the child i will come there also not only here jupiter's fifth house lord is the child mars is the marital life for a female mars is the husband from mars or after the entry of mars you have to trace out for the fifth house lord yes fifth house lord is there in aquarius that is second house from mars clear and when the marriage took place in 1999 second house from mars is the fifth house lord so that was in the second house from mars two years two years two days one was the birth of the first child today we are dealing only with the year of birth of the first child with the year of birth of the second child tomorrow or the next video it will be about the lagna of the first child the rasi of the first child the month of the first child even that i am going to give it to you all because this is an elaborate study at least if you know the year of birth of a child first child and the year of birth of a second child you will be happy you have reached halfway cross then after that it is easy to know about the month about the rasi and even the lagna month tells us which month in this year he is going to take birth rasi tells us in that whole month which is the day or which is the two days he is going to take birth lagna tells us 
exactly how many padas are one star or two stars, whatever it is, that you can know. This is my fight for this subject. And I have, I have just gone through a lot of charts. I found it, uh, it is very, very near to accuracy. Because in astrology, nobody is that accurate. It is only my knowledge which I am used to or my knowledge which I have been going through. That knowledge, it may be of some use to you people who are trying to study more about astrology or who are trying to see many other dimension to know about things. There is not only really one angle. You can know any way. So, this is one way. Finally, I will come in once again from the female chart. Mars is the husband. Fifth house lord. Jupiter's fifth house lord is son. He is in the second house. So, Mars is the first year, second house. 2001 was the first child birth. Now, let us jump here. We have finished with the female chart. Now, we will go to the male chart. Yes, in male, Venus is the wife. So, the male, half his marital life starts after the entry of Venus. And now who is there after that? That will be the recent part of it. Luckily or unluckily? Luckily or unluckily, we have got Jupiter in the same place as the female chart. And the fifth house lord will be the same sun. Clear? Now, just like we observed, this is the marital life. Sun is the Jupiter's fifth house lord. So, second year was the delivery of the first child. Here, in this male chart, Venus is the wife. After the entry of Venus, fifth house lord, son, is there in the second house. So, after the marital life, second year is the year of the birth of the first child. 2 plus, I mean, 1999 plus 2 is 2001. Same in both the cases, because they are couple. Fine. Now let us jump into the second child. Here, 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 here was the second year. Sun was there. Usually in Nadi astrology, I will be telling you all about the trinal sign. Any planet will have an aspect in the trinal sign also or with the trinal sign also. So, in this case, after the second child, the Jupiter's fifth house lord's aspect will go on trinal first and then the seventh house. Seventh house from sun. So, when sun has a trinal aspect here, so after the second child, it takes one, two, three, four, five years. I am telling you about years. I am not mentioning it is 2001, 2002, 2003. Number of years. Please note that. So this is five years after the second child. Second child was born in 2000. First child was born in 2001 plus five years. 2006. This is what we have got here. I will repeat once again for the last time. A female chart, marital life begins after the entry of Mars, male. Mars is in Capricorn. The fifth house lord from Jupiter. Jupiter is in Aries. The fifth house lord is Leo. Fifth house is Leo. The lord is Sun. Sun is there in Aquarius. So from Capricorn, Aquarius is the second house. So when the Jupiter, after marital life, second year will be the year of birth of the first child. Here, male. Venus is the wife. This is the marital life. And after Venus, fifth house lord, luckily or unluckily, again I repeat, 
Jupiter is in Aries, the fifth house is Leo, fifth house Lord is Sun, he is in Pisces. So, when after we there's the second house, second year is fifth house Lord. At that time, 1999 plus 2, it is 2001, the first child. See the fun here. For the second child, this is the first child, two years. For the second child, we went to trinal. That is five years after that. Now let us come here to the main chart. Here also, second year. And this sun has a trinal, of a trinal aspect of cancer. Same, five years. That same, 2006 came into picture. This is how we can know. In a simplified format, about the year of the birth of a child, first child and second child. Yes, there are few more complications here, which you may know when I give you the second couple's chart or when you yourself try to analyze charts in this format. Because there are other things. After the first child, there may be a miscarriage. After the first child, there may be an abortion. After the first child, these people may plan. Or after the first child, there may be a Ketu to bring an end to all the children. So with only one child, they are All the other things I am going to explain in my second couple's chart. So let's go ahead with second chart. I was talking about the second couple's chart. Now, we shall go for the second couple's chart. Hope till you know what I have done. You would have understood. You would have understood, yes, because my people are very sharp. Not only my people, astrologers are very sharp. So, now we are going to just carry on with the of course, here also you got only two children. I will give you the year of marriage and uh, year of childbirth, first child and the second child. Same. Everything will be the same. Fine. Now let us begin with the charts. This is the two charts. One is this is one chart. Now here goes the second one. Now this is the two chart. Let's uh, put here as. Uh, the female chart and this is the husband male chart here yeah. now a female has K2 in Pisces and Jupiter in Jupiter in Cancer Saturn in Leo uh, Sun Mercury Sun Oh my God! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I started using my language. I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Jupiter in Cancer. Saturn in Leo. Sun, Mercury, and Rahu. In Virgo, Sun, Mercury, Rahul, Virgo, Venus and Mars. This is Venus. This is Mars. Moon finally. Here. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. One chart is over. Okay? I will not write the date of the chart. But I will give you the date of marriage. The date of first childbirth. The date of second childbirth, so that you can correlate. 
the year of his childbirth, year of second childbirth, after the miracle life, that if it tallies, we are halfway, half done. Now next, about the husband, Jupiter, same old place, but retrograde, and this is moon descending out Ketu, and this is Rahu with Saturn. And Venus, same place. And here, Mars, Sun, Mercury, and Mars and Mercury, and Moon. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, at a time. Fine. This is moon. Okay. Now, this couple was married in the year 2004. Marriage. They had the first child in 2010. Here I am not telling you whether it is a female child or a male child. I will just tell you a child because we are concentrating on a child birth. We are not bothered if it is a male or a female. First child is 2010 and the second child is 2014. So this is the chart. Last time we had a chart in a simplified mode. But this time we have got a complicated one. We need these complications because to get the complete knowledge without hardships, we will not cross, we will be there only. If you try to analyze difficult charts, then only we will reach to some place, some point where we can handle everything. As I was telling you earlier, female chart, Mars is the husband. Clear? The marriage was in 2004. First child after six years, 2010. Second child, 2014. The same principles. Just like as I said earlier, we will go to the same principles now. In a female chart, after Mars, the marital life begins. Cool. No, fifth was Lord. Jupiter's fifth house lord is moon. But one more beautiful thing is here for you all. Moon and Jupiter have Parivartan Yoga. Even if you put Jupiter here, you will have, I mean, uh, yeah, Jupiter here, you will have fifth house lord as Mars. Even Jupiter is here, fifth house lord will be Mars. Clear? Okay? So, fifth house lord from Cancer is Mars. Fifth house lord after the Parivartana, if you take that into consideration, fifth house from Danus, Aries, that is also lord is Mars. Clear. Yeah. So after the marriage, fifth house lord has two aspect or the uh, fifth house lord is the placement when you can know the number of years of the child birth, first child birth. No, mass usually aspects the fourth house. One, two, three, four. It should have given a child here. After four years, it did not give a child. Why? This is one reason today we are going to break it up. Because this house was aspected by moon. This house. The fourth house of fifth, Jupiter's fifth house lord is aspecting a house where it will not give you a child because it is in Parvartini Yoga, moon will be aspecting this place. Second thing is, this place is having a trinal sun, trinal mercury, trinal rock. And trinal mercury is nothing but the third house lord. So definitely third house lord will not allow you to have a child. Fine. That did not happen there. 
Let us go, let us go to the next house because Mars is in trinal. Am I right? Mars is in trinal. At least you can go there. Even there it will not give you why. Because this is aspected by Saturn. It will definitely delay the childbirth there. Then what happens? He got the child in 2010. Why is so? This is one question. Why is so? Because Jupiter's fifth house lord is fifth house is Scorpio, lord is Mars. At the same time, when you go here, fifth house lord is uh, when you, when you keep for Parigatha Yoga, moon space Jupiter Jupiter in moon's house. Fifth house lord is a fifth house is Aries again Mars. Then how about this house? Who gave him the child? Yes, it is the ninth house. When Jupiter is placed here in the Parivartana, first child is fifth house, second child will be seven, eight, ninth house lord, that is sun. He directly aspects here. 2010 was the first child in case of the female chart. I will repeat that. Now I jump here. Because here also we have something to do. <coughs> now here, same Jupiter, without any change, same Jupiter, this is a male chart, after the Venus starts the life. Here, again, fifth house is Mars's house. And the same Mars is in trinal to the place where he had a child, 2010. On the other hand, here is no Parivartha Yoga to catch out of sun. Directly, Mars is having a trinal aspect on the Pisces, on the sign or Rasi Pisces. So, this is the year. That means, after the marital life, six years, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is after female, Mars, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, 2004 was the marriage, Plus 6, 2010 was the first child's birth year. Okay? Now I told you, I'll come back. Yes, once again I'll repeat. Repetition may bring more ideas in you. Or maybe you can give me some clues where I change. Whatever it is. Mars in a female chart is the husband of a marital life. We are trying to know only the year of birth or how many years it takes for a birth of a child, first child. And after that we will go into the second child. Now here, Mars is here. This is the beginning of the marital life. Fifth house lord is also Mars. But unluckily there is Parivartan Yoga of Jupiter and the Moon. When Jupiter is placed here also, fifth house is Mars. But when Jupiter is placed out, the second child will be Sun. When, when Jupiter is here, ninth house lord is sun and sun is there. So, Mars's aspect, Mars fifth house lord's aspect in trinal was here, but it did not allow to get a child because Saturn also was aspecting that. Mars's fourth house aspect was here, that is after this female got married, four years from there, he could not give it because moon's parivartan yoga, moon dropped it. It was weak. Second thing is, Sun was, uh, Mercury is the third house lord from Jupiter. Third house lord is aspecting. That to Rahu's aspect also, trinal aspect is there. So he blocked it here. Here also he could not give. Though it was a trinal sign from Mars. Mars is the fifth house lord. It did not give because Saturn was aspecting that place. It had to give here when the ninth house lord, Sun aspected this house. This is the case of female and here the male. It is very simple. Fifth house lord is Mars. Venus is the marital life. Fourth house Mars Ketu. He cannot give it here. As he said, fourth house was Sir Mercury and Sir Rahu in trying to do that. So he could not give you there. Here also from Mars, fourth house aspect Ketu is there. Definitely not give you a child. 
This is the only sign where mass is trinal aspect is there. There is the only place where he can give you a child after the marital life. That is sixth year, 2010. He was the first child. Now the second portion. Second child. Here it is over. First child. Second child. Same. Don't go for any other planet. Same fifth house lord. He aspects here. He aspects seventh, eighth house Mars aspect is there. But still, he is trying to do here. Why he does not give in the second year, in seventh house or eighth house? That is 2010, 2011 or 2012. Why he does not give a child to the couple in these two years? Because Saturn aspects 7, 8, 9, 10, this is how Saturn is aspected. He will not give you that. Second aspect Saturn is in trinal to this house. So there is no chances. Finally, where they had a chance, when Mars was in trinal, that is the place where they gave him the child. And that is four years after that. 2010 was the first child, 2014 was the second child. I hope I am clear with this. So, you have to notice on the, this thing. I will have, again be back with you to tell you a teacher about knowing the month of childbirth, Lavina of the childbirth, Rasi of the childbirth. So till I meet you next time, bidding you goodbye, waiting for your comments. Of course, <laughs> I have removed the section, no more comments. I don't want to hear anything. I want you people to be happy with the knowledge, very little knowledge what I have. Okay, bye.